So when I say summer barbecue or Kentucky Fried Chicken, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Should be chicken, but it's not. It's sweet coleslaw. Sweet coleslaw. Well, that's what we're going to make today on Two Crazy Ketos. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So like I said, today we're gonna make keto coleslaw because when it comes to barbecue, especially during the summer, yep. the first side that comes to my mind, the thing that I have to have when I'm having ribs or brisket or chicken or anything like that is I need to have coleslaw. But I need it to be sweet. That's why I always like the KFC coleslaw because it was a sweet one as opposed to the ones you sort of got at, you know, like Publix. Yeah. The problem with a lot of the ones you're going to get in the store or at restaurants like Buffalo Wild Wings or other places is they're usually loaded with lots of sugar. A bucket of sugar. And if they don't have a lot of sugar, they at minimum usually have like horrible oils that are gonna cause some inflammation in you. So can we get something that does not have horrible oils and is sweet but without a bucket of sugar? Not only can we do that, we can do it very quickly and very easily. Wait, how easy? It is so easy that even Rachel can do it. Yay! And you don't have to cook. Okay, that's the best of both worlds. Are you ready? Yes, I'm Let's ready. Let's go through the ingredients. First thing we're gonna need is some apple cider vinegar. Now you can use white vinegar. I prefer the flavor of apple cider vinegar. And not to brag, but we like brags the best. <laughs> okay, we need some salt. Red we always mint. use Redmond's. Then we're going to need some mayonnaise. Now this is our homemade mayonnaise. Make uh, it, you're gonna you, want it. You can use, I would suggest using any avocado oil mayonnaise. Otherwise you're kind of defeating the purpose of making your own. One of the things we're trying to avoid is the inflammatory oils in the other ones. But if you don't have any and you don't mind that kind of stuff, you can use regular one. We have a recipe right up here for how to make your own avocado oil mayonnaise. And so I made this batch in less than 30 seconds. Yeah. And little like secret, the first batch I made, I actually made it in less than a minute and I had to make two batches because the first batch I accidentally grabbed olive oil, mm. which did not taste very good. Much different taste. So yeah, and this is like not even a half of the batch, but super easy to make. So. We need some mayonnaise. Then we need some pepper. We need some stevia, because we want sweetness. Now, if you don't like stevia, or if you don't have stevia, you can use some of the other sweeteners, like erythritol. I would make sure you use a powdered one, either right. powdered allulose, powdered swerve. You can even use liquid monk fruit. Uh, but the reason I like stevia is because it's not gonna add any total carbs to it. Same thing with liquid monk fruit. Like that. Finally thing you're gonna need is some shredded cabbage. Now you can either buy a cabbage and shred it up yourself, which we do sometimes. Super or easy. you can go the quick and easy route and buy a bag of classic coleslaw shredded cabbage. This we're, one's got a few carrots in we're it. We're not freaking out. They don't bother me. You know, I mean, a serving of this is five total carbs, two grams of dietary fiber, so three total carbs. There's four servings in this bag. You can get it with or without the cab. The, I like the, the uh, carrots personally. It adds a little bit of color and there's nothing in there that's gonna hurt you. But I, I have seen at Walmart, they have like an angel hair one. See, I don't like that one as much. And it's it's very soft. It's not as crunchy for some reason, but it doesn't have the carrots in it. Yep, but you can, again, buy a cabbage, which is even cheaper than this. Yeah. Just chop Shred it up it. however mm -hmm. you wanna do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, very simple. No, nope, don't do that yet. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hand you the ingredients. All right. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your mayonnaise and put it in the bottom of a bowl. This is so easy. We don't even have an overhead camera. So just bloop. I've got everything pre-measured out for you already. Oh, I love that. So how much mayonnaise is this? 
That is, I'm sorry, it is going to be a half a cup of mayonnaise for that bag. You can always play with ratios if you want a little bit creamy or something like that. I did forget to mention one more ingredient and that is you need a teaspoon of celery seed. Now, oh. it does add some flavor, but if you don't like it or don't have it, it will taste good without it. But it does I have think a smell. it adds a little bit of a nice flavor to it. Yeah. So <laughs> one teaspoon celery seed. Down below in the description is going to be a link to our website with this complete recipe. Then we have half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. Depends on how you like it. You're kind of just going to your own personal taste. Oop. It's Florida, so stuff sticks. Three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Well, you don't have to brag about it. <laughs> and finally, one teaspoon of stevia. This is it's the sweet stuff. About 25 to 30 drops. Nice. Go ahead and give that a little mix. This is like a perfect salad dressing for me too, honestly. It's so stinking delicious. Now you do want to make sure that you incorporate all this up before adding the lettuce. Otherwise what's going to happen, or the, the cabbage rather. Otherwise what's going to happen is, is it's not going to like mix well. You want to make sure everything gets in here and then you get to toss the cabbage in your seasoning. Do you see what a horrible cook I, I am though? What was I leading with everybody? The cabbage. I don't even understand what's taking you so long to mix this right now. Well. The best things come to those who wait. Now, one thing about this batch of mayonnaise, I don't know if you noticed, there was little chunks in it. Yeah. And that is because our mayonnaise recipe calls for Dijon mustard, if you have it. Now, if you don't have Dijon mustard, you can use regular mustard. We like the Dijon, but we only had stone ground. So there's little pieces of mustard seed in that mayonnaise, that which doesn't I bother think me. gives it a nice flavor. Yeah. Okay, now that that's all incorporated, we're gonna just take our bag. Hopefully nobody yells at me that I'm helping you by just opening up the bag. Because Come on now. people have made those comments. Okay, just dump that in there. Oop, oop, you're getting it all over the place. And give it a good mix. Just make sure you coat everything in the dressing. I can't even think about Dijon mustard without thinking about those gray Poupon commercials. But of course. Now again, if you find that it's not creamy enough for you, just increase everything in the same ratio. So you could use like one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to about another quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. It just depends. Some people want it really creamy and watery. Right. Some people want it more of a cabbage crunch and less creamy. I will say if you can help yourself and not eat it immediately, it does soak in. Yeah. I, I have found that the flavors come through if you let it refrigerate for at least an hour to two hours. It's hard, man. But a, hard, a lot of times we just don't. And Caleb loves this stuff. Somebody who is not currently doing keto. He loves but it. But he loves this stuff. It also goes really well. On with, top of burgers. On top of burger. But I was going to say, if you don't have shredded cabbage, you don't want it shredded cabbage, you can use broccoli slaw, which is the stock yeah. of the broccoli. Um, you can do it with like broccoli pieces. You could do it with cauliflower. It's pretty much gonna be all the same ingredients, just whatever your vegetable is, is what's gonna change. Yeah, we used to do that like wonton chicken salad stuff. It kind of comes through like that. If you use the broccoli, mm -hmm. even if you put a couple of peely nuts down in it with the broccoli, this seasoning, this blend, it's so good. A lot of changes you could make to it. And if you don't want it as sweet, don't use as much stevia. If you want it sweeter, use a little bit more. I always say, add a little bit, and then you can always keep Because you can't take it away. Now that it's mixed, what I like to do is, instead of doing it beforehand, hit it. Just a couple little turns of black pepper and give it one more toss. Yum. And again, it's another thing that you cannot take out once you put in. So no. give it a little bit of pepper, give it a little bit of salt, taste it, add more. So nice. This is the perfect thing to bring to a barbecue because everybody's gonna like it whether they're keto or not. And then when they find out there's no sugar in it, they're really surprised. Okay, you ready? So we'll just go ahead and put some in here. This tastes great with pulled pork too. Okay, put this off to the side. But I thought that was my container to taste from. Whoop, ready? So good. It's perfect. It is so tasty. Mm -hmm. I love that stuff. And again, what did this take us? Five minutes and that's with us explaining what to do. Exactly. 
if you have the ingredients, you're gonna make this Boom. in less than five minutes. And that includes if you have to make the mayonnaise. Well, that is gonna be our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section what your favorite barbecue side is. Oh, yes. If you like videos like this and wanna see more recipe videos, check out the playlist, which you can find right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over there. But either way, make sure you hit right down here and subscribe to our channel, and that way every single time we upload a new recipe video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.